Welcome to this Let's Talk Machines Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. If you haven't noticed already, then we just released Pointwise version 18, and the user interface includes some subtle changes which will now appear in this and upcoming videos. Existing users can upgrade to the new release by visiting the URL in this video's description. In this video, we're reviewing the new grid cell count feature found in Pointwise version 18. The cell count command, located under the grid menu, opens the cell count panel, which now includes a table that displays cells and point totals in connectors, domains, and blocks. Columns showing this information for the current active selection, as well as the entire grid in your pointwise project. For domains and blocks, information about cells is organized by cell types. The number of triangles and quads is available for domains, while the number of tetrahedra, pyramids, prisms, and hexahedra is available for blocks. While in the cell count panel, I can renew my active selection using either the list panel or display window, and the grid entity statistics provided in the first column of the table are updated accordingly. However, there is also an even quicker route to getting this information. A new grid cell count shortcut has been added for convenience to those available in the shortcut toolbar. Clicking the shortcut prints the same familiar table to the Messages window and includes grid statistics for the real active selection just prior to clicking the shortcut. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.